when we look at the whole advent of, of cryptocurrencies, I think we, we get to understand the crux of blockchain, that at the bottom of blockchain, we're talking about transparency. And I mean, it's very evident whenever you look around the world um, and you look at the trends of what's actually going on and where things are going, you realize that the world is sort of crying out for transparency. Um, when we actually look at the United States of America and we look at the markets, etc., we realize that the apps that are doing well in the USA are apps that allow people to buy stocks on, you know, an app, you know. Um, and when we speak about apps to transfer money, it's quick mobile money, Mpesa, etc., that people are sort of crying out for transparency, transparency. And I think that cry comes because people are becoming more knowledgeable in terms of finances. If we go back 10, 20 years ago, it was the financial advisor that advised you on how to handle your finances. And we move today, you log on to YouTube and there's some guy saying, hey, I want to show you how you can. So we're seeing that culture's changing. A lot of people are sort of things that were never topics. 10 years ago, no one would ever bring up money at a dinner table. But fast forward today, everybody asks at a dinner table, hey, have you heard of cryptocurrency? Have you invested? What do you think about it? That, or, or how much have you lost? Or how much have you lost, you know? So we're seeing a huge culture shift from money is a sacred topic that you discuss with your financial advisor and sort of write about in your will to now actually where do you keep your money you know whereas 10 years ago if you had to ask somebody where do you keep your money they'd be like what's wrong with you but today it's like what coin are you in what stock are you in you know so blockchain comes at the right time when everybody's crying we want to know we want transparency we want to know we want to find out these things and i think at the bottom of that we're seeing a new financial system where people are sort of saying we don't just want to see a financial system and hear about it at the end of the day we want to be included and want to see what's going on we want to know who's transacting with who when they're transacting we want a more a, a, a better system that we can trust and i think that's the fundamental of blockchain that a lot of times people have felt that they haven't been included in financial systems because they've sort of been private secluded and now people are saying open it up we want to know what's going on but beyond that we want to be involved and in some of the work that I do, when you try and speak to banks, you, you sort of find out there's a, a private study that I was doing where banks were funding PR agencies and, and um, newspaper publications to sort of badmouth cryptocurrency, to tell people don't invest in cryptocurrency, um, you know, don't you dare take your pension money, don't you? And when you look at where banks were doing that from, it makes sense. Banks are very cautious. Banks are to say, you can't get involved in something that's just happened now for the long term, because what if it doesn't actually fly? What if it doesn't happen, you know? Um, and I said to somebody, I said, it's, it's so funny that even when banks at the height of that PR stunt, that's when the Bitcoin price kept going, going higher. And if you look at what actually caused crash, if you'd call it a crash, or the Bitcoin price to dip, you actually realize that it was caused because the media was then censored to say, media, you can't tell people these stories. We can't have pop-ups on Facebook saying, buy into this coin, do that, do this. Whereas it's, it's more censorship, it's more regulation. People are saying, well, we're not going to trust this thing because for such a long time there is no regulation. Governments are saying no. And people started to pull out because there's just no regulation here. And what we're seeing, I believe, in the future, what we will continue seeing is we'll continue seeing the patterns happen over and over again until such a point where regulation comes to the party. And I like what happened in Kenya when Mpesa came, the Kenyans were like, oh, we have no regulation about this. But since everybody wants it, we're now going to have to regulate it. And I feel that's the next thing that we're going to see, e even if it isn't necessarily Bitcoin. But we're going to see more pressing onto people want transparency within financial systems. And because of that, blockchain currently is the best solution that currently is available for everybody that is open in terms of transparency. And I think that's the biggest thing that, that happened with, with blockchain.